Hey guys, DPG here, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm not really feeling it today, and I was debating whether I should even do a video because, you know, there's that desire we all have to make a positive impression, but the other side of that coin is, is it better to do nothing or make an attempt? and see what happens because maybe what you do will resonate with somebody and i think that's kind of what i want to talk to you guys about today so um you know blah 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 <laughs> honestly i don't care <laughs> if you like subscribe or share this um right now i just want to try and get across some information that hopefully will be valuable to you because i'm kind of going through something that i'm sure many of you uh, will go through, and that is trying to understand and explain uh, to yourself what acting really is. And the more you try to consciously understand it, the further you are actually getting away from it. And that may be difficult to understand, but really it's, it's like trying to understand art, trying to know what your art can or should look like before you do it. And I don't think any real artist would be able to say that if they did something and they knew what it looked like, it wouldn't be art anymore. If they knew ahead of time what it was going to look like, and I'm talking about painting or whatever, painting, drawing, etc. If they knew what it was going to look like, then it wouldn't be art. Then it would be more like graphic design, right? Doing something that's commissioned. I want you to do a portrait and it should look exactly like the person. Or I want you to do a landscape and it should look exactly like the landscape. Okay, fine. But if you put your canvas in front of a person or you put your canvas on an easel in front of a mountain scape, and then you just go about interpreting what comes through you. Maybe you're having a day like I'm having where my energy levels aren't good and I'm feeling not confident. Um, then you are going to express yourself in a different way than if you were feeling amazing. So I think the key to really being good at acting is to not have a result in mind because um, having a result in mind means you think you know what the other person who's going to be watching this on the other end um, wants. And I can promise you right now, you have no idea what someone else wants. And you certainly don't know what they were thinking when they wrote it, if that's the case, if, they, if it's the writer. You don't know what casting directors are looking for. You don't know what anybody's looking for. So trying to consciously decide ahead of time what you're going to do is really, uh, in the words of Bruce Springsteen, it's a death trap. It's a suicide rap. Get out while you're young, okay? It's, it's a recipe for disaster. And, you know, the more I think about it, I think about how I shouldn't be thinking about it. I think about how there is no wrong. There is only truth. There is only your true reactions based on who you are, your genetics, your experience, how you were raised, um, you know, all of this stuff. But at the end of the day, you can't consciously rely on how you were raised to deal with any real situation because everything that you're taught is based on kind of generalities, right? Like no two situations are ever the same. So what I'm really suggesting to you today is embrace your uh, lack of knowing how things will turn out and to turn yourself over to yourself. Turn yourself over to the side of your brain, which is probably 99% of it, that isn't, isn't consciously thinking or consciously worried about such things. And, you know, as an interesting example, um, you know, it's, it, there's a certain amount of bravery that it, it looks like comes along with this kind of thing. Um, but I don't know if bravery is the right word for just being yourself, right? And accepting that some people will like it and some people won't. 
And if you recall, um, in the 2022 Oscars, Chris Rock was telling a joke. And he made a joke about Will Smith, uh, Will Smith's wife's hair, Jada Pinkett Smith. And Will Smith initially laughed, and then the camera went off him. And Jada Pinkett Smith looked like she wasn't too happy about it, but, you know, you kind of thought it would end there. Ooh. And then the camera went back to Chris Rock, and the next thing you know, he sees Will Smith coming for him. And I think everybody, including Chris Rock, thought he was going to say something into his ear, you know, like, if you ever say that again about my wife or whatever, you know, that was, that was not cool. Who knows what, but this is what I'm talking about is Will Smith's reaction was truthful and he trusted it and he couldn't not take, he couldn't take it anymore, right? Like he couldn't resist his reaction anymore. And he knew that it was going to come with some kind of a response and reaction from everybody who saw it, which is millions and millions and millions of people all around the world. He knew that, but he just went with it. He, he did an artistic thing, right? He trusted uh, his response to that. And he just felt like I need to go up and do something. And I'm pretty sure he didn't know exactly what he was going to do when he got there. And he did something kind of weird. It was, he didn't punch him. He kind of slapped him, but it doesn't, I don't know if he really struck him or not. It was hard to tell. But anyway, that kind of moment you don't usually see, but it's the real truth of the situation. Now imagine if you could allow yourself to have those kind of moments in your acting where people would just be like, <laughs> what was that? Um, another reminder of this is uh, Julianna Margulies. I think I got both her names right, it's Juliana or Julia. Anyway, Margulies, um, she was doing some kind of acting in The Good Lawyer, I believe it is, or The Good Wife. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. But John, um, my gosh, I can't remember anybody's names. Uh, the guy who does Last Week uh, Tonight or something like that on HBO, uh, he's this English guy. And he was talking about um, Juliana Margulies did more acting without opening her mouth than The Rock has done in his whole career. Now, I think that's kind of, it was, he was being funny. And that's the kind of thing that actually The Rock should go and slap him in the face because, you know, I think The Rock has done some pretty good stuff um, over the years. It is what it is. And he's getting better all the time. But anyway, all Juliana Margulies had done was react to something in a courtroom where she was just like, You know, and it was like she was trying to speak, but she didn't know what to say. Um, and who knows what part of it was programmed or not programmed. But I really liked what um, John, whatever his name is, had to say about it, which was she said so much without saying anything. And if you want to practice anything, and I give you guys lots to practice, right? Like practice script analysis, practice auditioning et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But the best thing you can practice is being okay with yourself and trusting yourself and knowing that whatever you do, it's never right. It's never wrong. It just is what it is. Sometimes people will vote in favor of it and some people will vote, sometimes people will vote against it. But if you want to be an actor, you need to learn to turn yourself over, not to a popularity contest, but Turn yourself over to your instincts to a great degree. You've got words. That's there. You can't change the story. It's going to go down the road it goes no matter what you do, no matter what anybody does. The next scene is coming and the next one is coming after that, right? You are not going to rearrange the script or the story. So knowing that and knowing that they've chosen you to interpret the story, whether it's for the audition or whether you book the job, doesn't matter. You should do the exact same thing, meaning, what do I feel like right now? I just need to come to that feeling and let it come out. And the words, you don't even have to come up with those. They were already given to you, so that's easy, right? The words are this, now I just need to start to react to things. Allow things to affect you and trust your instincts. Maybe your instinct is to do nothing, right? 
maybe your instinct is to restrain your instincts like most people would have done at the Oscars in 2022. They would have not gotten up and walked across the stage and slapped a guy. Most people would never do that. They would have thought about the political ramifications. They would have thought about the career ramifications, so on and so forth. Um, and listen, a lot of times maybe that's for the best. So you don't go kill somebody for something petty. Um, but really what I'm trying to get at here is acting is real if you let it be. It's not really acting if you just trust yourself to respond to, to however your self uh, you know, feels like. And don't even pay attention to what it is. Be unconscious about the whole thing. So at the end, you say to yourself, what just happened? Right. If you ever can get there where you're like, I don't even know what happened. In fact, that's usually the only time I ever book anything when I say to myself, I don't even know what I just did. That's usually when they call me and say, we'd like to hire you. So I guess what I'm saying with this sort of lost feeling that I have right now is you need to learn to trust yourself. And if you can do that, then everything else will be gravy. But people will really trust you when you learn to trust yourself people will learn to trust in you. And that's where the magic starts happening. That's why people hire certain actors over and over and over again, because they trust them. They trust that what they will do, nobody knows what it is ahead of time. Even the person that they're hiring doesn't know what they will do, but they have a pretty good idea. It's going to be interesting. And I'm sure a lot of the times it isn't going to be what they expected, what they thought they were going to get. And that's great because somebody shouldn't know what they're going to get when they hire you. Okay. They should just know they're going to get something truthful and instinctual and ultimately beautiful in its uniqueness. Um, all right, guys, I don't know what I'm going to call this video, but I think I'm just going to call it what is acting and let me know if you did enjoy this, reach out to me. Um, I'm always looking for new people to work with. I'm always putting groups together. So reach out to me, David at hackhollywood.com or dpg at davidpatrickgreen.com. And I will talk to you soon.